is of Christmas! really exciting and I love 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 this video so much because we are making DIY Christmas phone cases. I am so happy with how this phone case turned out and I cannot wait to make a bunch more and oh, I love it so much. It's on my phone right now and I'm seriously obsessed. Now I quickly want to remind you that I'm currently holding a huge Christmas giveaway on my channel and if you would like to enter that giveaway I will leave a link to that video in the description box. And if this is my first video that you're seeing then hello my name is Jillian. I am so so happy that you found my channel and if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future then all you have to do is click that subscribe button. So I definitely think it's time that we jump into the video and make some really cute phone cases. So the first thing you'll need are some clear plastic phone cases and just get phone cases that will fit your phone and the next thing you'll need is a nail file because we are going to be filing down the back of the case. So just start filing down the back of the case and making it not so smooth and this is going to help our fake whipped cream which is silicone stick better to the case. Now for the whipped cream look on the back of the case, we're going to be using silicone for that. So I just went to the hardware store and picked this silicone up and it is in the color white. And then I found the easiest way to use my silicone was to place it into a disposable piping bag. Now the tip that you want to use is a star nozzle, so I just got one of those to use it to give it that really pretty design. Now before you start piping the silicone onto the back of the phone case, you want to practice first just so you get a feel of the different pressure that you need and how much silicon you want to come out at a time. So I just did these little dots of silicon and I applied the most pressure when I was first piping it out and then as I was pulling it up I was releasing the pressure to get that little tip part. Uh, I don't know if that made any sense but basically that's what you want it to look like. So once you have practiced enough just take the phone case and start piping rows of the silicon onto the back of the phone case. And if you have gaps, that is perfectly fine because the little decorative pieces that we are about to place onto the silicon are going to fill in the gaps. So you just want to continue piping the silicon all the way down the phone case. And now for the extra fun part, and we are going to be using cabochons. And I didn't know what cabochons were until a few weeks ago, but they are these little decorative pieces, and I found mine online, and they are so cute. You can get so, so many different colors and types. So I just picked out some Christmassy themed ones, as well as just some fun ones. And then you just want to begin placing your cabochons onto your phone case. So I was a bit iffy here. I went back and forth with a few different pieces, deciding which ones I liked better where. So just take your time with this, but basically what you want to do is start at the top of the case and start placing your cabochons into the silicon and then work your way down. So here I've just got a big red bow, lollipops, the M&Ms are my favorite, and then I've got a little bit of a chocolate bar and this big gingerbread man, which is super cute. So this case I wanted to be super Christmassy and super traditionally like red and green Christmas, and I love how it turned out. So as you can see, I keep going back and forth with different pieces, just trying to figure out which ones look better where and the different sizes and things. And then I just worked my way to the bottom of the case. And then once I was happy with my design and happy with the way it looked, I just left it for quite a few hours, actually overnight to set. And then I had the prettiest case ever and I love the 3D-ness and you guys know how much I love my phone cases. So this makes me so happy that I have a Christmas theme case. So now I wanted to do another case, but this one not as Christmassy, like still Christmas themed, but just not the traditional red and green because you guys know that I love pink. So I wanted to do a more pinky Christmas themed case. So I just went ahead with the same piping of the silicon and then I just went in with some slightly different cabochons. So this one had a big pink bow and then I did a rainbow lollipop, some glittery snowflakes, which were really cute, more of the fake M&Ms, which I love. And then what else? Oh, this peppermint candy. And I love how this one turned out. It's so totally me in a case. And this is the case that I have on my phone right now. And I love it so much. And you guys, I'm seriously gonna make so, so many any more of these cases they are just so much fun to make and I hope you guys like how they turned out I am obsessed with them and now my phone is in the Christmas spirit as well which I love like the video 
video. I am so obsessed with how these phone cases turned out. They are so, so cute and I love them so much. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more videos. Now, if you're looking for something else to watch, don't forget to check out the rest of my videos in my 12 videos of Christmas series. And I will leave a link to that playlist in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next Christmas Eve video. Bye!